Hey everyone, this is Duran Studio, and in this tutorial I want to show you how to take something like this and turn it into a grunge masterpiece that looks something like this. Stay tuned. So we're going to start off with the graphic here. I have my logo and just some text to go with it, and we're going to jump right in and I'll show you how to make this into a grungy piece of trash. So let's start off by taking our graphic and merging it with the background layer. So let me duplicate the background right here with Command J and merge it with my graphic. I'm actually going to group it and then merge it just so I keep that original. Um, I'm just going to name this original. And after that, you're going to want to duplicate this layer, Command J, and go up to Filter, Blur, College and Blur. And let's just blur this a little bit. Let's go maybe eight pixels perfect now we're going to duplicate that again command j go up to filter pixelate crystallize and i'm going to use a value of around let's say 22. press ok boom all right so <laughs> it's not looking so good so far but let's go ahead and add a threshold adjustment over this so we'll go right here and go to threshold and this is quite the uh, quite the image we're looking at so we're going to go to this last layer that we just made click the layer mask icon here go into the layer mask and press command i to invert all right so now what we're going to do is make a gray fill layer so to do that i'm just going to make a new layer and fill it with white which is command delete which will fill it with whatever color is in the back of your palette. Then we're gonna go and press Command U, which will bring up the hue slash saturation panel. And then you can go to lightness and change that to negative 50. This will give us a 50 gray, which you actually can't see because the threshold is on it. So let me turn that off. Now we have a 50 gray here. We're gonna add some noise to this. So let's go to filter, camera raw filter. And we're gonna go to the grain options down in effect. So turn the grain about all the way up you can play with the size and the roughness i usually turn these up pretty high um i'm gonna set the size to 50. that looks good press ok and then we're going to set this to soft light i'm going to duplicate that grain set that one to overlay and go to filter blur gaussian blur and add a blur of maybe around four five pixels Oh, 4.5. All right, perfect. So now we can turn that threshold back on. And let's go into the layer mask of this uh, crystallized layer that we made earlier. Let's grab a soft brush. So turn the hardness all the way down. Just start painting in areas um, where you think the edges can be a little more fucked up. So you can also turn the brush opacity down. I'm going to turn it down to 40. Um, I'm just painting some areas here just to get a little bit of, of rough edges around um, so it's just not too perfect you know all right so that was good next up we are going to go down to the bottom here the original layer duplicate that bring it all the way up top right below the grain filter blur collagen blur and this is going to be a pretty high blur we're going to set this to maybe 20 something i'm gonna go with 23 actually i'll bring it up i'll go to 28 and now i'm gonna do the same thing we did with the crystallized layer make the layer mask invert it using command i and paint around areas where you want um, a little more ink bleed so i'm gonna use a 80% uh, opacity brush here and just paint in different places um, that i think looks good okay so now that i've got that done i want to grab a few grunge textures from Literally anywhere. Um, I just use Unsplash for this. So just go on Unsplash and search up grunge textures. I found a few that I liked, just selected them out. Uh, I'm going to start off with something like this. I'm going to go ahead and copy that image, go back to Photoshop, paste it on top, scale it to size, and let's change the blending mode to dark and multiply. Your choice. I'm going to go with multiply on this one. I'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit, we'll go to 70. And same kind of process with these layers. 
uh, make a layer mask, invert it, and just start painting around areas that could use a little more grunge. You'll also notice that while I do this, some of the test is getting really obscured here, which, I mean, you could obviously not paint in those areas, but um, I don't mind it because I'm gonna work around that later. So just go ahead and make your masterpiece, paint in some areas that you'd like. I'm gonna duplicate this and do that twice actually. So I'm gonna reset that layer mask, maybe move the grunge around and do the same thing. Okay, cool. So now let's grab another grunge texture. I'm gonna go with this one, copy image, paste. I'm gonna scale this up to size. And for this one, we're actually gonna set the blending mode to screen which you can see kind of fixes our issue here with the obscured text. Um, but we don't want it, you know, all over the graphics. So I'm gonna turn the opacity down a little bit to, let's go to 80. And same thing with the layer mask. Invert, just start painting around, dial in a little more grunge here and there. So at this point, it's just rinse and repeat with different grunge textures. Um, you can experiment with the kinds of textures you use. Like this one I thought was pretty cool that has just cracks to the uh, to the graphic. So paste that in, put it on the screen. There's a nice little effect there. Play with the opacity. Cool, cool, cool. You can also just search up more grunge textures, find something we like. Um, this is pretty cool. Let's use this. Bring it up to Photoshop, scale, and rinse and repeat. Like I said, at this point, it's all just rinsing and repeating um, with different textures. You can experiment um, and try different things. For example, let me just add this texture here. So now if I wanna bring back some clarity into this image, I'm just gonna duplicate the original uh, graphic we had down here, bring it up on top of all the grunge layers and do the layer mask, invert it. And paint in areas where I want some clarity back. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much the gist of it. Um, like I said, you can experiment with different textures and just find like a you know cool new processing method. Like if I searched up, I don't know, water droplets or something. Um, let's see how that fares. I'll choose hmm, these suck. Yeah, I think I'll. I think I'll leave it like this, but um, yeah, so that's basically the process. And it's important that you have these two noise layers on top and then the threshold layer on top of that. This is the whole kind of processing um, apparatus we have on top here. I'm just gonna put that in a group and name it process. And at the end, we can close this group, command J to duplicate, command E to merge. At this point, it's free reign, whatever you wanna do with this. I want to add some color into it. I think that's pretty cool. Let's uh, put a gradient map on it. So that's pretty much it. And if you're wondering how I got to this point, it was basically just adding some photocopy textures, um, doing some post-processing, which I made a video on if you want to go look at. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two. And thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace.